Well guys, it's raining today, so so we are not gonna be having some fun outside. Here comes the storm. We got a storm coming today. I'm filming this on a Friday, and the storm is here today, but tomorrow morning is looking mighty fine for some fishing. So I think I'm gonna do that. I think I'm gonna go offshore tomorrow, Saturday, and I'm gonna bring the camera with me. That footage won't be in this video, so cross your fingers that I catch something cool because you guys love when I take you out fishing. All the love on the offshore sections of my videos, the epic fish that we catch offshore has been amazing. You guys have been eating that up. You guys have been loving that. So I'm gonna keep on making sure that I bring you guys along with me, at least the GoPro on my chest or on the, on, on the boat. At least I'm gonna bring those cameras with me anytime I go fishing because if we catch anything cool, I have to document it for you guys. So you guys have been loving that. So thank you for showing me all the love. I've been trying to do longer videos, like 20 minutes and just throw a whole like compilation of stuff in the videos like my first half of the week will be in my one video and then my second half of the week will be in the other video so that's what i'm trying to do for you guys you guys seem to be enjoying that so i'm gonna keep on doing that instead of just having one like subject of a video so i'm gonna keep trying to spice it up and you never know what you're gonna get from the fish guy chris channel now remember guys 50 percent off all orders on the fish guy shop i'm not even sure if it's sold out yet uh this video will be going up on monday so it's friday all the stuff might be sold out once it's all sold out we're shutting down the site temporarily for that big announcement so stay tuned for future videos and uh, stay tuned for some teasers I'm gonna give you guys. It's gonna be really big. We're gonna help help the ocean. That's what we wanna do with the Fish Guy brand. We wanna, we wanna create an awesome brand that you guys are gonna enjoy while making a positive difference. So that's what we're gonna do. That's just another little hint for the upcoming uh, big announcement. So because we've been doing some crazy videos, my videos have been nuts lately, just going all over the place, fishing, epicness. We're gonna take a little chill, relax today. We're gonna focus on the aquariums, the ponds, and that is what we're gonna dial in today. Now last week, you guys saw me, Jack, and Brooke on the Fish Guy main channel put in that brand new Stingray in the saltwater pond, and he is doing fantastic. He's living it up in here. This is a great, great place for him. I'm so glad this is a giant circular pond and it's really big, so he's got tons of space and tons of room to just chillax in there. And that's really why I've been uh, chumming the dock. I started chumming the dock again because, first of all, I get all those great glass minnows. I love catching those because that is exactly what the rays want to eat. Plus, we're able to catch some really cool rays like we've done before, some sharks even, if we can uh, get them to the dock, and some really cool fish. So that's why I'm really big right now on Chum in the Dock. At least at least for this summer, it's gonna be insane. We're gonna stock this thing to the T. To the it's gonna be epic, guys. I wanna get a shark in here next. Now, because I wanna train the rays, I literally wanna train the ray to come right up here when we're feeding him. I got this really long, look how freaking long this thing is. This thing is a missile. This thing is long. I got this giant feeding stick that we're gonna slowly work them towards the edge of the pond. So I'm gonna put a little glass minnow on this. Maybe I'll do that at the end of the video and I'll try to feed them for you guys. I'm gonna put a little glass minnow on this and try to work them towards the center. But I do know when I throw some dead ones in the middle, he goes around and he just smokes them all. So we gotta get him more comfortable with coming up to us. I wanna eventually hand feed that guy. He's really freaking cool. So there's a little quick update on the giant saltwater pond. We're slowly working into it. We're gonna probably get some bigger fish, some cooler fish next week and uh, get this thing up and running and going with some badass fish in here. I definitely wanna get a big grouper in here. A bumblebee grouper is at the top of the list. I need another pots, RIP pots. We're gonna get another bumblebee. We're gonna name him Pans. I freaking love bumblebee groupers so much. So hopefully we can, we, as, if we find one guys, the reason why we haven't gotten one is because we can't find them. Like no one has them. So we're literally just sitting waiting for someone to get one into stock so we can buy it because those things are bad to the bone. So the saltwater pond is currently in harmony, but in regards to the tank in my room and the blue ribbon eel, it is pure chaos. Check out what happened. How should I get him out? How should I get him out? Oh, his Chris, head's right there. Look, dude. Look at that thing. What's he doing? I don't see him at all. He's right here. I have to clean this clean this filter so bad, guys. He's right here. His head is right here. I don't know why he is in tail. there. No, that, it's his he head. That flow. It's his head. I, mean, I can see his over here. So no, that's his tail. How am I supposed to get him out? Yeah, yeah, he's in, in the, the filter. filter. No. the filter? He's in the freaking filter. Why would he go in there? He's always gonna go in there. Oh. How would he get in there? Let's get him out. I don't know how I'm supposed to get him out, guys. Yeah, he's in there. He's right here. He's right here. Chris. Dude, what are you doing? Don't do that. Just trust me. Not by the tank, bro. He's right there. You might need a smaller net. Wait, wait. Get, lure him out with the other. Here, let me see this. What if he jumps? You try. You try. If he jumps, I'll catch him. If he jumps him. on me, I'm gonna be so scared. Just dip. Just jump him into this. Should I grab him? Should I grab him? Ah! Grab him. Get in the, get in the tank. Holy shit! He's four feet long, Jack. He's freaking no! <gasps> He's back. He's in. slithered out of <laughs> It's four feet long, bro. 
I never thought I'd fish an eel out of a damn tank. Out of a filter, I mean. You got him? I don't think you're gonna get bit, so. No, I need like a- Chris, you have to pull. <laughs> you gotta actually pull him. G guys, he he's, slips he's in between jello. my hands. He's jello. Grab him. He's slipping out of my hands, bro. Jack, come on, you got this. <laughs> you got this. Come on. I'm almost there, go, go, go. <laughs> Here he goes, 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 there he goes, there he goes, he's out. Oh my god. Thank god, bro. Dude, you sick. Look how freaking weird he is, dude. That is so cool. Isn't that a cool eel? That is so sick. So yeah, guys, pure chaos in this tank right now. <laughs> the glass minnows, we only got a couple left that are alive. So that is why you guys didn't see the eel in the in my last videos, because he was in the filter. He was living in the filter, and he's still in the filter right now. Right when we got him out, right when we scooped him out of the filter and put him back in, in 10 minutes, he's back. he was back in the filter. Like, that is the weirdest thing in the entire world. So because of that, I'm gonna move him into one of the saltwater ponds, uh, probably this weekend. I'm gonna get him in there because I don't want him to get stuck in the filter and then die or jump out or something like that. So I'm gonna get him probably after, the, after I'm filming this video, I'm probably gonna get him, scoop him out, and put him in the saltwater pond. So if you guys don't see him in this tank, he's in one of the ponds, you'll see him. So because we've been having some just chaotic videos, I wanted to do a nice little relaxing buying fish video for you guys. So I got something, I got the coolest thing at the store. The store didn't have like big fish, but I had this one that I've never had before and it's, he's kind of a weird looking fish. But you guys haven't seen the snapping turtle in a while. You're probably wondering, where is he? I've seen a lot of, mis mis a lot of mixed reviews on this pool right here. It is almost 50-50, keep it or make it a bait pond. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. I'm still giving it more thought. I don't. I still have no idea what you're gonna marinate. So freshwater or saltwater bait pen, I don't know. But the snapping turtle, my guy, he's got to uh, He's got to eat. You haven't seen him in a while. He's doing just fine. Let's see if he'll cooperate today. So as you can see, he's as big as ever. And this is an, this is an entire shrimp, okay? A whole shrimp. He's as big as ever. And uh, you guys haven't seen him in a bit, so I'm giving you a, I'm scared I'm gonna get bit one day, but he's oh. a beast, dude. I mean, he's- He's sick. Doesn't get bigger. The water's really low because I'm doing a water change. Currently, I'm gonna fill this thing back up so I get nice fresh water. But yeah, he's not going anywhere. That thing's a savage, okay? Look, he just skates around. I don't know how he somehow gets that whole thing <laughs> in his belly, but he protects it at all costs. The koi will go up to him, everything will go up to him, try to eat the shrimp from him. He does not allow that to happen, which is good. Now, let's see the fish we're gonna be putting in our saltwater pond today. Now, we got our cube here because this is genuinely one of the weirdest fish I've ever seen. Uh, I haven't seen him before at the store. I think we have a type of like fish that's his same kind of deal in the saltwater pond already but this guy's way different it's a sick lawnmower that's a <laughs> sweet lawnmower here's the fish it's really freaking cool actually it is a gonna be a good addition i'm not sure how big these guys get i gotta do a little bit of research because if he gets big he'll be sick in the big saltwater pond but here he is the most bizarre thing what the hell is that <laughs> look at that what is that isn't that a cool fish that thing's cool. Let's get him in the glass. Yeah, He'll look yeah, way cooler, but that is a cool looking fish. I'm telling you. When I saw him at the store, I'm just like, let me just get him. He's sick. And he was like 40 bucks. You know what the crazy what? thing is? A red booted shrimp, when I first started buying fish, was $15. They are $59 right now. Are you kidding me for a shrimp? Absurd. <laughs> Nobody buys shrimps anymore, okay? Dude, you gotta go out of the bag. There he is. Dude, Ooh. this guy's so weird, bro. Is that not the weirdest thing? Look at that, dude. I think it's a bristletail filefish. Honestly, he's pretty dope. I I'm glad I got him because he's cool. He's gonna add, I think he like hides up in like some seaweed or leaves. That's his whole his whole deal. Cause he looks like a leaf. He looks yeah. like a legit leaf. So let's see him from up top. Pretty dope from up top. He looks, he looks like a leaf, dude. It's a leaf with eyes. It's a That's dope fish. Crazy. We're just gonna name him Leaf. Name's gonna be Leaf. All right, let's get him in the pond because this guy's really cool. I'm glad we're getting some cool additions. I'm not just getting, oh, look at him like that. That is so cool. His skin is like sandpaper, ready? Come on, bud. Let's go. <laughs> let's go, Leaf. How you doing, bro? <laughs> leaf, how you doing? How you living? He's just a leaf. He's just floating in the pond like a leaf. And I love him. There he goes, there he goes. I love him already. I'm gonna protect you with my life, sir. <laughs> I'm gonna protect that fish in my life. Very oddball fish, very strange looking fish, and I like him. So I wanted to do a little more chill, relaxing video for you guys. I know I've been stressing out a little bit with that high crazy music, catching sailfish all the time. So a little chill one for you guys, a little, little time to relax. We're gonna go back out probably tomorrow fishing, so stay tuned for some more epic cliffs. Hopefully we catch something that we can eat tomorrow and we can make it happen, so. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Go click on this video if you haven't seen it. Go watch it, and I'll see you in the next one.